Uh, hi guys, so as promised, uh, in this part we'll be focusing on the background of the node towers. This is uh, this 2D element where the nodes are coming flying like, yeah, just the background of the node towers, this gradient uh, looking thing. So back in Unreal Engine, I already have something made. Uh, and in short, what you're looking at here is a widget. So I'll get to the widget and then I'll show you how it's added. Um, if you're following this series and something doesn't make sense, just know that I'm using this plugin, Media Engine Rhythm Tools. Um, if something is, it does not appear while you're, while you're trying to follow along, uh, it's probably from this plugin. So this widget is, well, right here, right? This is the widget that you see on this um, 3D plane, right? And um, to add it to this 3D plane, I used um, um, the widget component. Uh, I made a tutorial about that, so you can maybe take a look at that. But the widget component just allows you to render a UMG widget in a 3D world instead of the 2D screen space. Okay. So I want to focus on uh, a different element or techniques they implied um they employed on the um no tie background so the no tie background has like highlights so you see that there's this gradient here and then there's this gradient there and then in other parts okay there's another gradient here right so they use a lot of gradients and um they have this uh border on the side these black borders so this is what my widget that i'm using here is focusing on so to recreate this widget, um, the first thing that I did is I have this border, like the main border, right? And then I have its color is um, black, which matches this black, right? And then I added a padding on the left, on the right, so that the content is padded, like the child is, is in the middle. And then for the child it's an overlay i'll explain why i use an overlay but i want to get to these gradients first so there's this vertical box that contains pretty much everything like this this and that so inside the vertical box there's a horizontal box the horizontal box itself contains these two sides so although this looks like one unit it's actually um multiple units in the in the widget so we have this left side which is also um, a border we have this right side, which is also a border. And then we have this bottom side, which is also a border. And by setting them, um, the gradients, uh, they can start with a different color. But if they go towards the same color, you get this nice little um, gradient effect that you see, um, well, here. And then um, we want to take a look at uh, how did we make this gradient. So to do this, we use the material. Um, so as you can see, it's left side mat. Let me just open this one. It's the same mat for all of them, except they each have like some um, unique values to them. So this is the left side mat and the right side mat. If I were to zoom out, you can see that this is give or take the side, the same, the same material. So it is actually the same material, just different values. All right. So the left side mat creates the gradient on the left. And the right side match creates the gradient on the right. And um, this is how we get this effect. So the left border uses the left side match. The same goes for the uh, for the bottom gradient. All right. So it creates this gradient here. So why three materials instead of one and then just um, changing the parameters? The thing is, um, widgets, after you select the material, they don't expose the parameters. So... I could have exposed this as a parameter and then set all three to the same material and then just share the parameters. But I found it easier to like duplicate the material and then just change um, the values on those um, parent materials. So if you want to copy the, the, the material, this is it. Um, I hope uh, it's visible. I'm going to move on to uh, another thing. So yeah, this is the material. So you got that part right so the next thing we want to focus on now is this um if i play this there's supposed to be like a little like subtle animation like subtle background animation this part it goes like that flowing towards um let me just play it so you can see it right let the 
So you can see that there's like uh, an underling uh, animation right here of these triangles that are coming towards the, those, um, like towards the player. So for me, for that solution, what I used, I just basically used uh, texture and then I'm animating it with the pen and note. So if I go to materials and then, um, yeah, here we go. So this is the material. It's a pen and note, um, and this is the speed right here, and it's just moving this texture, right? And um, we are just kind of cutting off the top part and then making like a nice gradient. Because if you look at their solution right here, the, this animation for these triangles, it doesn't go all the way back. It kind of starts all over here. So that's why we kind of um, implemented this gradient gradient for the opacity so that we cut out everything that's there, right? So that's how I got this little effect. As you can see, it's animating towards the player. So um, I think that should be the video. Uh, it just covers this note highway background. So I'm trying to do this in part so that you can like follow along and um, show you that this is pretty much, I mean, this is pretty much simple to do. It's not something that's very, very difficult to do, provided you use this plugin. Okay, this plugin will save you a lot of time. Like you will, you can remake this in like in hours okay using this plugin so basically anyway um in the next uh video we'll be covering um the rest of the 2d um maybe this this is okay these notes this um i like to call them rhythm actors these notes and then maybe uh like the input okay the input buttons the user interface maybe that i'll, I'll see what to cover next and then uh you'll probably the video will be tech part three so it shouldn't be hard to find